Hi, I'm Kathy, and welcome to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Today we're going to make a quinoa taco salad. And instead of using lentil meat or beans as the meat, we're gonna make a quinoa meat that goes inside the salad. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to heat a stove to medium, medium high, and you need three quarters cup of quinoa. Now I use the multicolored, so it has white, black, and red in there. You can use any kind you want. You can use all white quinoa, all red, doesn't make any difference. And we're gonna put it in here to let it brown first. And if you notice, there's no oil in my pan. You're just gonna toast it up in here for five to seven minutes. Keep stirring. Okay, and if you can hear that, it's, it's um, crackling. Smell it. Smell it. So that's kind of when you know it's done, when it starts crackling. And we're going to take it out of the pan and put it in a bowl temporarily. It smells really good. Then we're gonna take the pan, we're gonna put it back down to medium, and we're gonna saute one red onion that I diced. And you're gonna wait until that gets a little bit translucent, give it a couple minutes. And then the other ingredients that we have are chipotle peppers and adobe sauce. And that comes in a can in the Mexican section of the grocery store. And all you need is two teaspoons. And you have to chop them up so you don't get big chunks of it. But you only want two teaspoons. If you don't like spicy, do one teaspoon. You can always add a little bit later. And then we have two teaspoons of tomato sauce, or I'm sorry, tomato paste, one cup of vegetable broth, and I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of cumin. So, as soon as these start to cook up a little bit, we're going to add the tomato paste to the pan. And, the chipotle peppers, the adobe sauce in there. And then, all you need is a half a teaspoon of that cumin. I just put a little in. You, don't, you can measure it if you want. Then move this around a little bit. And then we're going to put the one cup of vegetable broth in. And you want to make sure that that tomato paste and the chili peppers, that they all are in there together. Stir it up. Now we're going to add the toasted quinoa back into the pot. And you're gonna stir it all around and you're gonna bring it to a boil. You see it's boiling. And then we want to turn it down to low and you want to cover it for 15 minutes. The 15 minutes has lapsed, so let's take a look. As you can see, all the fluid's been absorbed into the quinoa. And you have choice. At this point, you can let it cool and sit here. You can put it into the refrigerator and let it cool, or there's a quick and easy way to do it, which is what we're going to do. We're going to pour the quinoa mixture onto a cookie sheet with a silicone baking mat or whatever, a um, parchment paper or whatever you can have. You're going to spread it out and it's going to cool that way. And we're just going to let it cool. If you do this beforehand, you can just stick the whole pot into the fridge and you know use it tomorrow. You get to decide. And as soon as it's cool, we're going to make the rest of the salad. Okay, the quinoa taco meat is all cool. I laid it out and it cooled, cool to the touch, and it smells wonderful. And what we have here is a bunch of escarole, and I chopped it up. You could also use romaine lettuce, you could use kale, any types of greens that you want. I also have a 15 ounce can of black beans that I rinsed and drained. I have two corn on the cob that I had grilled. Now, 
This is a cup of corn, which is two ears, or you can use canned corn or frozen corn, but you have to cook the frozen can corn first. I have a cup of grape tomatoes that are cut in half, and I have two jalapenos. If you don't like jalapenos because they're too hot, skip them. You can also use serrano peppers, which are a little milder, or don't include them at all. And I have half a cup of cilantro for a garnish, and I have green onions, um, one bunch of green onions or scallions sliced for a garnish. I'm going to use the Southwest salad dressing. I have a video about this already and a blog post. I'm going to use that same dressing for this salad. Oh, I forgot my avocado, so we're going to put some avocado on there too. So we're going to do the dressing first. I have a quarter cup of raw cashews. I have a half a cup of water. I have a half a cup of salsa. It doesn't matter. You can have green, red, mild, medium, hot. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and the juice of one lime. And that's it. It's that simple. And it's really tasty. Again, five minute dressing. Easy peasy. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just got to taste it. Make sure it's right. It is. Okay. Inside. All right. Now, we're going to layer these ingredients onto the lettuce. I like to put it on a platter when I'm serving it to a bunch of people. You can also make individual salad bowls, but I like to put it on a platter. So, I'm going to take some of this quinoa taco meat, and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top, and then I'm going to add some black beans. You can also use pinto beans if you like, some of the corn, and you want to just kind of evenly distribute, distribute it all over the top. Kind of go halves, they use half with each thing. And then we want to put the tomatoes on. And you can really add anything that you like to stick in a taco, you can stick on this quinoa taco salad. If you like vegan cheese, we're not doing that, but if you like it, have at it. You can put um, guacamole instead of the avocado on there. I'm gonna put some jalapenos. Make sure when you cut these that you wear gloves and that you cut them and take the seeds and the veins out before you play with them because they can get all over your fingers. Then we take more taco meat. We're gonna stick it over the top. And it's fun because, you know, instead of using fake meat or even lentils, it, this stuff tastes just like taco meat. It's kind of crazy, but it does. And we're gonna put more black beans on top. We'll finish these black beans. more corn a lot more taco meat left get that around the sides on top and like i said um you can also make this um taco meat ahead of time sometimes i meal prep on a sunday hold on my hands were dirty i meal prep on a sunday and I make this stuff, and then all you have to do is throw the salad together on that particular day, which is a great idea. It saves time. We're going to put some more of the tomatoes on. More jalapenos. My family likes it spicy. And then we're going to cut that avocado into chunks and put some of that on top.
Don't want that little pit in there. You can even drizzle sour cream on here. You can serve it with salsa. Another option that you can do for dressing, if you don't want to use my Southwest dressing, lime juice down here works perfectly as well. And it tastes fabulous. Just plain old lime juice. That's it. Okay, I'm going to put the avocado on here. And then we're going to garnish with the scallions. And the cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, I like parsley instead of that, or you can leave it off. A lot of people, believe it or not, they taste soap when they taste cilantro. So if that's you and that's the case, then you know, you don't want to do that. You'll probably ask your guests what they taste first. Okay. And then we're going to serve it up and everybody gets to put on their own dressing. So. Here you go. This is a quinoa taco salad.